welcome back to the Pipes Drums series of recordings by my father, the Castle Recordings, uh, by my father, Captain Johnny McClellan. My father made these tunes in Edinburgh Castle uh, in the early 1960s. And this is the fifth group that we're presenting, as usual, contains some really interesting and varied levels of tunes, in both in uh, complexity of playing and also in, in length of the tunes. We're going to start with uh, the very famous A Flame of Wrath for Squinting Patrick, which he tackles in typically robust and adventurous style. Uh, a great tune commemorating a, a terrible event, uh, uh, the burning of people in, inside churches and all that kind of thing. Uh, and also related to that tune is the tune Glengarry's March. And I, I'll include a, a little anecdote about this one. I remember I went home to compete uh, from Canada and he was coaching me in this tune and it was the the day before I went up to Oban to play it, and he was he was showing me all these very, very minute little changes, which he kept saying to me, Look, this will make all the difference. And I was saying to him, Look, this is the day before, this is kind of hard for me to just pull this off because these changes. I, I said to him, I think you're uh, making, uh, giving perhaps the judges too much credit here. So anyway, I went up to Oban and I, I didn't, because it was the day before, I didn't feel very confident about, about trying to do the things he told me to do. I just played it the same way as I normally played it. And I got actually second in the open period uh, with the tune. So when I came back home the next day, he, he was quite pleased and he couldn't stop saying, see, I told you it would make all the difference, all these little changes. So I just kept quiet and said, yeah. It's a great help and thank you very much. Great tune, Glengarry's March. He plays it in what's known as the Colberry style with the, uh, with the low G's long as opposed to the, the other style, which, which makes it quite short. Castle Mingus, which was the tune which John Burgess won the gold medal at age 16 with. The McLeod's Controversy is a, a, an excellent, very small McCrimmon tune. The very, very famous lament for Mary McLeod. My father often used to play that in recitals. He was very keen on playing what he called tuny tunes in, in his recital, in his recitals. The Battle of Waterloo, uh, the finger lock, strong bottom hand tune. Lament for the only son, which is interesting. I included that this time because it was probably the only tune I ever remember my father to say, you need to play this tune slowly. This is a very slow somber, lamentful tune. And uh, it was the only one, certainly, that I was allowed to play slowly. The Red Speckled Bull I included because this became a great favourite of both of us because I remember uh, way back when he taught me this tune, we sat down together and he said, let's really make something of this tune. Let's really, really make it really go. And we sat down for a long time doing little things to the tune and working it all out. I've played it that way ever since. He won't play it like that on these tapes because that, that, this would have been 20 or 30 years later. But uh, I always enjoy playing that tune. And just finishing off the 10 with Welcome Johnny Back Again, which I believe was set last year in the tunes and a very interesting tune, a very tune with a lot of flow and a lot of melody. So there's another 10 tunes for you to enjoy. Hope you get a lot out of them and are able to get a great deal of enjoyment from listening to these castle recordings. <laughs> 